very warm welcome to this webinar regarding the future of the Arctic forests. My name is Sampo Manninen and I'm the chairman of the SILVA organization, which is the organization for continuous cover forestry promotion and activities. It's extremely important to get together today and uh, discuss the future of Arctic forests. The Arctic forests are very crucial to our future. It's uh, very crucial how we manage them and it, affect, it is affecting so many things in our lives. And the purpose of this webinar is to get more understanding and open up the discussion regarding these matters. We do know how clear-cut method already works and therefore we will go a little bit deeper to the alternative continuous cover forestry method. I believe that uh, since the law changed in 2014, we are only just about to begin to understand a little bit more about these matters. And the continuous cover forestry is a very viable alternative for taking care of our forests. But uh, let's take a little look, little look at, at our arrangements today. So we are using Zoom platform for this communication and uh, for that purpose we do have several speakers and panelists here talking us, uh, to us today. And we are also using chat. If you take a look at there on the bottom of your Zoom window, you have a chat window. You are most welcome to place questions over there. And uh, we are also using the poll feature of the Zoom platform, which is a little bit further on to the right down there. And uh, we will be trying it out right now. For example, we can put it out now. If you go to the poll feature and check if you can see there a questionnaire, a very short one, asking about your relationship to forest. And you can tag it over there and see if we can see your answers. So those are the two features that we will be using today. And uh, then we will also invite some comments live to the discussion. So please also notice raise hand feature down there. And that is something that when you want to talk to us, please raise your hand. And uh, after you have been uh, raising your hand, please also keep in mind to lower it back. So it should be quite okay. Do we already have any, any comments on the uh, poll feature? Mikko is here behind the machines here. And, uh, yeah, yeah, we are waiting for a little bit more. So use the poll feature to see uh, a questionnaire regarding the today's agen agendas. We will be using that later on today. And uh, so we have a little bit more to play around with that one. But uh, let's go a little bit further, uh, look at the program of today. So firstly, we will be hearing about the ecological importance of the continuous cover forestry method. Yrjö Norokorpi will be presenting that matter to us. Then we discuss it shortly, and then we take a look at how to implement that in practice in the real life situation in the forest. And Jussi Saarinen from Metsätieto Paolo Silmu will be talking to us. And, uh, Actually, there are two parts on that. And uh, first on the mineral rich soils and then on the peatland forests. And then we will have a lunch break. And that is about one hour. And after that, we will deep, uh, make a deep dive into uh, cultural matters and the Sami people heritage discussion. Unfortunately, we just heard that Leo Aikio is not able to uh, access this meeting today because of uh, he fell ill and is uh, really really uh, sick so we will trust that Mika Aramaki and Janna Näkkäläjärvi from Sami Education Institute will be helping us in that discussion and then good morning uh, good, good morning Sambo and uh, all others Janna here speaking good morning it, Jan. It, it's fine for it's fine for us, and he has also Henrik Seva with us here, with me here in Hetta, in Ontikia. So I think we find some kind of solution that 
we can start a little bit earlier. Yeah. Excellent. Thank you. Thank you so much. And uh, just to understand that you are all together there in the same location. That's excellent. Except, all right. Except Mika, except Mika is, is at Inari and me and uh, Henrik, we are here in Enontekia. Yeah. Excellent. Very good. And Henrik, uh, I have a typo here. It says Siv, but it's Seva uh, from Sweden. It's going to be discussing the cultural matters a little bit deeper. And then we have an interesting discussion coming from the other side of the globe, actually. Markus Walls from uh, a new certificate program, AEFC program, is going to be exp explaining us what is happening around the new certificate that is coming about regarding the continuous cover forestry. And that is excellent news for us. So after that, we will have a tiny practical coffee. You may grab, grab a cup of coffee and then we do a little bit uh, survey online also. And uh, then we discuss the today's subject. And uh, I really, really welcome all the discussion to this matter. And uh, so that is where we are at the roughly 2.30. And after that, we would like to hear some closing remarks from uh, Markus Walls and Paulina Fedorov and uh, the status of the future. What are we going to be doing about promoting the better future for the Arctic forests? So that's pretty much about that. But I would like to use a couple of more minutes regarding our organization Silva. It's an organization for promoting continuous cover forestry here in Finland. And uh, we have recently published a Metsalaskuri, which is kind of a uh, software solution for understanding better what is the impact of different forage, forestry management systems when you are either choosing continuous cover forestry or even age forestry. And uh, with the Metsalaskuri, you can very simply find out what is the impact of that choice of method. Just type in your um, uh, unity code uh, or um, uh, property code into the system and, and it will give you a rough idea of what is it all about. How does it affect the uh, nature, nature around the forest? How does it affect the water situation? What are the economical impacts and stuff like that? It's very practical, but it's a, it's a kind of a bigger picture of uh, what does it affect when you choose the method of your, uh, for your forests. And then we have also created uh, educational material uh, for continuous cover forestry. And uh, so far they are already translated into Swedish and Norwegian. Not English yet, but uh, we are working on that. Anyway, this material has, be, has been created with the uh, uh, forestry educational institutions and a lot of, lot of expertise in, in that information. So that can be also found on our site, jatkuvakasvatus.fi. So that's an important piece of uh, information for all of us. And then we are doing a lot of, lot of uh, educational work. We have arranged a lot of events regarding what is going on. And uh, then we are doing also a lot of communication work online. So that's, that's quite important. And recently, recently we have published this kind of book, Muttuva Metsä, which is kind of forever changing forest. Very interesting book by Pekka Junti and Anna Ruohonen about the continuous cover method. A lot of case examples and very readable document. This is also unfortunately only in Finnish so far, but uh, looking forward to seeing that on the other languages as well. So uh, I think it's time to move on to today's agenda. And uh, the important thing for today is to remember that this is the place and moment to start the discussion, make it deeper, understand things better, understand the different methods better and form a big picture. For that, we also need to understand better that what does what kind of role and importance does management of the forests have on different uh, businesses, different ways of life and different cultural things. I think this day is very important for all of us and to get the better understanding of that. So I think uh, it's time to move on with the program and